What's up guys, it's Gemini, and today I'm going to show you the difference between the clear speed and both ground slam and sweep and compare the two. The builds are pretty much the same. There's nothing, there's no reason to respec anything. Uh, they both use Amplify and all the crit, physical, you know, stave nodes, they're all the same. So interchangeable. The only thing that changes is the fact that I, I use a ground slam gem. Now for this test, I don't have a 2020 Ground Slam, and this one is a 2023 Sweep. It's it's a difference, but it's you know it's not game breaking. You'll overall get the idea and see the effects of both. I try to pick maps that are very similar. Uh, this is increased Burning Ground and Monster Damage. And we're gonna start this test with Ground Slam first. Oops, pull that out. Uh, I will do the entire uh, entire map, and I'll skip a lot of the picking up the items and rolling the boxes. I'll just skip that, and I'll just go to the boss. So you can s overall tell, you know, an accurate clear speed of uh, both abilities. And let me go on D and D. All right, here we go. This is a residence. Very very similar map mods. I'm just gonna go in, focus on clear speed and clearing efficiently with the skills now the biggest complaint I have with ground slam is it is a directional base while it's more concentrated and it's very very potent it's directional it's not 360 so strategically I need to place my character in such a way that it fires in the same direction to maximize the damage because multi strike will make me constantly swing from side to side and leaping into the middle of packs aren't isn't as efficient because of the back and forth oh I picked up loot promise I didn't do that I wouldn't do that all right so it's just a habit on a side note it does a really good job at getting you know really good range uh, keeping my distance, getting me a little safer, and then, you know, especially against casters or something that would shotgun, there is, you know, benefit there. And I do enjoy the CC. However, you are going to notice, pay attention throughout the rest of this map, my power charge generation. Because since it doesn't have inherent knockback on the gem, I am usually uh, struggling to keep up power charges. Right now I have five, so it's good. But I'm trying to min-max my movements, you know, for a good clear speed. You could use leap to, you know, get to certain sides, but overall I really need to gauge on which way the mobs are coming in. I mean, you can see it's pretty potent still, but we'll compare it to sweep in uh, the next map. Hopefully, the mob types are relatively similar in uh, the next map that I roll. Feel free to post your uh, comments of. Why you like a uh, certain thing versus another. But I will, for the most part, leave this unbiased. And you guys can come up with your own speculation. And maybe in a later video I'll discuss the other stuff. people there I didn't need to again focus on the power charge generation
pretty cool looking right there. Little dance. And it's pretty much impossible to funnel something like that in the room, so I just went ahead and just stood there and man slammed. Sometimes when the mobs are just like ranged, it really isn't worth the repositioning, so you just go ahead and do the multi-strike sweep. Or I mean the multi-strike ground slam. And it is uh, important to note, when I fire down or I fire up, I can, like, ground slam will go off the screen, so... That's another thing when you're trying to assess, you know, where the fizz reflect is or, you know, what you're firing into. It's pretty important. What would be cool, in my opinion, is to have something that, you know, does more damage the further it is away. So if you get it at the tip, or maybe it's more damage up close and then, you know, kind of like the way lightning strike is. is hard. Like if you play uh, Super Smash Brothers, that's a good example of where hitting at the tip at the edge of your sword versus hitting, you know, very close. How much damage it does. If you play Marth or uh, Link or Mini Link. Alright, this is the boss. I'm going to use Vala Mortal Call to uh, not be able to die. Alright, there it goes up. I have 10 more seconds where I cannot die. Now, boss fight's over. Overall, pretty decent. Could be better. Now we're going to move into the sweep video. All I'm going to do is change the gem. Let's just How sell this real quick. Put in the next map. And I'm going to switch in the sweep. Now I'm going to do a lot more leaping because I'm going to put myself in the middle or the heart of the pack. And you guys can judge, you know, which one you think is more efficient and um, better clear speed. I need to go up this room before I go down. Oh. I did get a text message from work again. I need to check that really soon. But. There's two more rooms I need to clear. Uh, that's not very good. I misjudged this whole layout. I should have gone down. I didn't know it was going to be closed off. This is probably closed off too. Oh, and I just desynced. You notice I'm not walking around 
with Immortal Call all the time. Just like assessing it as needed. I'm using a lot of the endurance charges just by itself, passively. I get to make all this run back. And then when the endurance charges expire, oops, then I usually cast Immortal Call and take that Immortal Call to the next pack. Whether or not it's needed, you might as well cast it. I right, got a pack here. Don't need to call here, the threat isn't really high. people I say um, why are you using sweep it's just a gimmick because no one else is using it well I strongly feel uh, it's extremely effective and there's a lot of hate on sweep just overall Thanks for watching. You can notice that there's an inherent defense, not only being able to attack 360 degrees, but to chill, freeze, and all that kind of jazz, to CC the mobs. Also, the melee mobs are constantly uh, readjusting themselves so that they can get in better position to melee me. So. I mean, I can hit them way further than they can hit me, so it's knocking them back, which is his defense, you know, of its own. Oh. Now we have extra fizz, so I am going to call in here. You can see how the leap sweep in combination like just completely changes the play style of this particular skill. And the power charges are much easier to maintain and generate with a uh, sweep. There's Fizzle Reflect. This next level is the boss. Yeah, so I'm gonna say, use the same thing, same concepts. I'm gonna use Vala Mortal Call to not be able to die. I'm gonna sweep some of the ads so I don't take any uh, extra multi-strike wasted damage. I have 12 more seconds where I can't die, and it's dead. Six more seconds. Now we need a pot up and Mortal Call. Feel free to post your comments in the YouTube uh, comment below, uh, and feel free to hit the like button. Uh, we can have a discussion, a little back and forth. I'll try to answer everything that's posted, and I hope you guys enjoy this video for the testing versus, you know, leap sweep versus ground slam with the uh, immortal janitor build. Um, hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys later.